Thank you very much. We now like to have an oppo a photo opportunity. The first one would like to have the deputy president with the Minister of Science and Technology, Minister Kubain Gubane, and the Premier, Sylvia Lucas. We would anticipate that they would be standing on the side of the plaque. And then the Deputy President, the DST Minister, and the Premier remain, and they are joined by all former Department of Science and Technology, or Ministers of Science and Technology, and other ministers uh, from South Africa that can join the uh, Deputy President, the Minister, and the Premier. So we have a second photo opportunity. Minister Mangena, Minister Gubane, Minister Pando. Well, the photo up there involving uh, various officials. I guess it was uh, there's a collaborative effort uh, to get to where we are at this stage on the Friday the 13th. Day, <laughs> Not a very good day to be unveiling anything, uh, if you're suspicious. If or you are suspicious, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, you know, as we were saying, uh, the South African Meerkat radio telescope, uh, this is a precursor to the remarkable square kilometer array telescope. Uh, that will be launched soon and we understand that this meerkat will consist of about 64 receptors each containing or comprising uh, a 13.5 meter diameter dish antenna cryogenic coolers receivers digitizers and other electronics make of that what you will but uh, I guess uh, the science will speak to soon because uh, this meerkat uh, will be able to look in the deepest, furthest regions of um, the universe. And, you know, we've, I guess, only scratched the surface. We had the likes of the late Stephen Hawkins. Uh, we, we know about uh, people trying to unpack string theory, for instance. And, uh, but we, we don't know about this vast planet, this vast universe that we live in, very little. Essentially what they're saying about the project is that we are technically pushing limits. Mm, mm, um, mm. Another interesting face in there is that of uh, former SABC chairperson and ESCOM chairperson, Mr. Ben Ngobani, uh, an individual who's been involved a lot in the state capture narrative and uh, his, his, his presence Sorry. there. Um, also quite interesting. Um, Mr. Musibidi Mangena also morning, there. Morning. Is he a former deputy minister in the science and technology space? I think so. But the other interesting aspect about this project, and we've been talking this morning mm. about President Cyril Ramaphosa's trips um, to Saudi Arabia, Nigeria, yeah. and the United well, Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. This is a continent-to-continent -continent collaboration yeah. um, between Africa, because South Africa considers this a continental project, and, and Australia um, scientists from both um, countries, or continents, if you like, um, collaborating in making sure that they realize this stage of the project. Let's listen in. Sound? Yes. Okay. Now this is a very significant uh, project uh, that sets uh, the country on a path towards a uh, development um, well it's not uh, 
it's not South Africa alone that would uh, benefit. All the countries that came together to contribute are going to benefit. But in terms of science and research, South Africa will be on a good footing. Yes. The next uh, phase is the SKA. Are we excited as a country um, that we're entering that phase? And also, um, a, a number of science minister, na, na Lady Pando, Minister Lady Pando as well, has spoken about uh, developing the science uh, uh, economy. Um, where are we with that? Well, uh, this is a first step in the right direction. Uh, remember, science and technology will always be on the cutting edge of our movement forward. So there can be any development, there can be any innovation if there's no research, uh, there's no innovation. So everything starts from research, then you innovate, then you can move forward as a country. Uh, this is a good platform uh, to enable us uh, to study, to learn, uh, learn a lot of things. And then in the process, we'll uh, invent new technologies that will uh, be able to be used by people, uh, generations to come. So we we still very far from that uh, from that point. But this it's going to open all the gates. Okay. Thank you very much, colleagues. Remember, we still have time on the other side, yes. so we'll engage properly once we have done with the interviews, with the formal proceedings, and the DP will still be here for for more engagements. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much uh, for the opportunity then. Uh, from now on, what, uh, we will announce the departure of uh, the uh, Excellency Deputy President and the entourage, we'll allow them to leave first, and then most of us and the rest of us will go back to the complex where the main function is going to be held. Well, live visuals there from the Northern Cape, uh, the launch of the Meerkat radio telescope there. The Deputy President, David Mabuza, uh, saying a few words. I guess uh, our reporter Ulrich uh, Hendricks uh, popping in a question there first. He says it's the first step in the right direction, I guess. Yeah. And uh, everything starts at research and then you can innovate and then... Uh, we can move uh, forward, I guess, as a country. It's interesting that when you look at the footage, you can see that the cold weather is, mm. is, has an impact it on does. how events are unfolding there. But let's take a break for now. We'll be back in a moment. what I mean. I'm, I'm just going to leave. Goes through. 